I, I went to my kids' school yesterday because they were having Valentine's parties. And I went to one of my son's rooms first. And when I walked in there for the Valentine's party, I got completely rushed by the kids saying that my other son got in trouble that day. I mean, half the class was there all excited and out of breath telling me that one of my sons got in trouble. All right. My other son, not the one in that classroom. And they said, oh, he got so in trouble. He's going to get suspended. Oh, my gosh. And I'm like, you know, what happened? Well, he went outside and he was throwing fruit at a wall. He was throwing apples. Yeah, that's what it was. He was throwing apples by the wall. He got so busted. And, you know, they're all excited and giggly. What are you going to do to him? What are you going to do to him? You know, well, you know, I was like, okay, wait a second. So my son was out there throwing apples (laughs) at a wall. (laughs) And, you know, splatting. I mean, uh, now, of course, you know, I I have to look like a good mommy. You know, and I'm like, oh, bad boy. Oh, oh my gosh. Yes, I am going to address that. Oh, he's not going to sit for a week. Absolutely bad boy. I'll I'll go address that right away. So, you know, I, I leave that one classroom and I start going, you know, to my other son's classroom. Okay. And I really wasn't going to bring it up because, you know, I didn't want to ruin the festivities of his Valentine's party. And I'm sure the subject was going to surface. Well, he does on his own bring it up to me. You know, good boy. Okay. He did bring it up to me probably because he knew I was going to find out. Duh. But his recollection of the events was a little different from the other kids recollection. Okay. Now he said what happened was, you know, he was trying desperately to satiate his fructitious nutritional needs of vitamin C by eating the said apple, right? And as the kids were fleeing the cafeteria and rushing out to the playground for recess, he got swept up in the crowd, you know, like a running of the bulls type of scenario, got swept up in the crowd and, and got expelled outside the cafeteria. And, and while trying to pierce the skin of the said fruit with his teeth, it got propulsed away from his jaw and forced onto the wall and then splat. And he was so upset that all the other apples he was carrying fell as well and splatted against the wall. All right. Now, now, you know, of course, you know, when he told me this, I let him think that I believed him. You know, I, I mean, that's a lot of work for a story. And, you know, if you actually think about it, I mean, we did far worse when we were growing up. And I mean, I mean, far worse. I'm not going to go into all the things I did in school. And got busted for, I mean, graffiti, um, kissing boys, um, you know, writing bad words on the bathroom wall. You know, that was just kindergarten. Okay? I'm not even going to go into the older grades. So, uh, you know, so for him to throw apples at a wall going splat, I mean, I'm going to make a big deal about it. You know, but then on the other hand, parents, you know, we, we need to look at our kids' actions now and try to extrapolate if they're going to be sociopaths later. You know, I mean, on one hand, so what? The kid threw some fruit. He threw some fruit at a wall that went splat. Who cares? But then on the other hand, you know, this group of kids that did this with him and actually coerced him, he was only an accomplice. He wasn't the mastermind of this crime. He wasn't. He was an accomplice to this, right? Are they going to be sociopaths? I mean, mean, look at this. Number one is they stole, they burglarized a school cafeteria. Then uh, a fr- then they decide to go outside and assault the building from which they burglarized, right? So now we have burglary and assault. Are these kids going to be sociopaths later? Now, you know, if you take a look at this, all right, I, I and I thought long and hard because I'm like, now, wait a second, you know, which do I really need to read deeper into this? And I decided, no, throwing a piece of fruit at a wall is hilarious, okay? Yeah, and now if he had chosen a banana, I'd have a problem with that. All right. There, it makes no sense throwing a banana at a wall. It doesn't make a sound. It doesn't make a splash. And if he decided to throw a grape at a wall again, that, that, that doesn't make sense to me. But throwing an apple makes sense. It just makes sense to me. So the point I'm trying to make is we aren't letting our kids be kids and our boys be boys. I think it is very, very normal for a child growing up to try to destroy something, especially something on school property, and to destroy it with something juicy and meaty like an apple. Now, of course, the principal was walking by, you know, when I was hearing the story 
And the teacher wanted to see what my response is. So I put a mommy face on. Of course, I was like, oh, very bad boy. You know, you're getting grounded. You know, but, but honestly, maybe we should really let our kids throw fruit. Uh, now, true, maybe they shouldn't do it at school because you can't be getting kicked out of school. His punishment at school was wiping down the wall, <laughs> which I think, again, is hilarious. I really wish somebody taped this for me. But, um, you know, and I'm going to extend that punishment to probably no computer. And he has to clean our walls at our home. Why not? If he's in the cleaning mood, you know, get him while he's cleaning. But um, honestly, I mean, look, look at the sociopaths that, that are out there now. Um, I mean, I don't have the news story in front of me, but, but didn't a University of Alabama professor just go on a shooting spree because she didn't get her tenor? Tenure, right? Right. She was denied her tenure, so she decides to shoot a bunch of people at the university. I, I mean, th- this is ridiculous. And then in Las Vegas, a gentleman leaves his house with an axe and starts hacking an infant and another lady just out of the blue. And everybody's like, well, they weren't like this. You know, they didn't have any problems before. We have these sociopaths out there. And maybe what we need to do is let people throw fruit. Let them. We're so pent up and bottled up now. We're afraid to, to, to show any emotion and, and let anything out. I mean, I, I bring this up all the time. You know, when you watch these TV shows from the 70s, you know, the wives all got to smack their husband in the face. Now, okay, I know, I know, especially on Valentine's weekend, it's not a good idea to perpetuate the theory that smacking your spouse is a good idea. You can't. It's abusive. You're going to go to jail. But apparently it was okay in the 70s to smack smack your husband across the face when you were mad. It, it was also okay to throw plates and to slam doors. I mean, even in the movies in the 40s. Oh, Scarlett O'Hara. Okay, that movie was done in the 30s. What, 1939? And she was smacking Rhett Butler left and right. Uh, now, yes, yeah, she was a sociopath. I think she did kill somebody in the in the movie. And I think she did... Uh, vandalized by ripping down the drapes to make a dress. So, yes, she did have some psychiatric problems, but she was able to let it out. So the moral of the story is if your kid wants to throw some fruit, let him throw fruit.